So we need to talk about ChatGPT. Now, despite what some may tell you, ChatGP is not a replacement for human programmers, but a tool that will assist developers during the coding process. I'm gonna tell you why I think ChatGPT will not replace developers, but actually create more opportunities for developers. It's important to note that I'm not talking about how ChatGPT performs when creating art or writing copy. I'm explicitly talking about coding. More specifically, I'm talking about replacing a person with artificial intelligence. Now, I'm not an artist or a writer, but I am a coder, so I know a little bit about how this process works. Now, when it comes to this technology, it's important to focus on the current applications rather than what we think it may end up in the future. You can speculate all you want where you think this technology is going, but until the AI apocalypse actually happens and it ends all of human work, we need to make decisions based on its current capabilities. We've recently seen similar promises made with technologies like crypto and Web3 and how they're gonna change the state of development but these promises never really fully materialized. We have to base our decisions on the current state of ChatGPT and not where we think it may be in five or 10 years. We need to be cautious also about giving ChatGPT powers it doesn't yet have and may never have and not make decisions based on hype or your favorite YouTuber. Artificial intelligence is a very good illusion. And to an untrained eye, ChatGPT written code may look like magic, but it's often not perfect, incomplete, and errors will go unnoticed. For example, it thinks 87 times 63 is 5,501, when in fact, it's 5481. It's like the magician that fools the entire audience, except for Penn and Teller. They can see every sleight of hand and every magic move performed. Now, I recently read a great post on an AI forum that stated, ChatGPT is able to create well-formed sentences which contain phrases, that are fitting for the input. It has rules extracted from its data, but those are not rules of understanding, but rules of likely phrases. And this is really sums up how I feel about ChatGPT as a programmer. It guesses. It guesses what the next line or word is in the code. AI doesn't know how to code. It guesses what your next word or phrase in as you're typing it in. It's pretty good at guessing, but a developer does not guess. They make informed decisions about what to type based on their knowledge and experience. It's the same as the coder that copies and pastes solutions directly from Stack Overflow without any understanding of how the code actually works. Now we've seen this before with technology that promised to replace web developers. Web builders have been around for a long time and like Dreamweaver or FrontPage, they evolved over the years due to limitations. These early web builders couldn't create everything users wanted, which led to the development of more advanced web builders like we see today, Wix, Squarespace, and WordPress. Despite the advancements, these tools still can't solve all the problems that modern day websites need. Custom sites are still being created in mass as evidenced by job statistics. Sometimes WordPress or Squarespace isn't enough and a custom solution is still needed. The promise of low code or no code web building apps was seen as a way to replace web developers, but it never fully materialized. Instead, it changed maybe what a web developer does, making it more accessible to more people, and that created more developers. When I started Coder Foundry back in 2014, I was told all jobs would be outsourced and sites would be generated by non-coders using no-code or low-code tools. It's been a promise for a long time and it's never happened. The people that made these promises were not coders to begin with and they never understood the complexity of building a modern website. When the first modern computers were created, we wrote code in very complex ways. A compiler would interpret the instructions into code that the computer could understand. That core activity has not really changed just the languages we use to code have. As we've seen throughout the history of coding, languages have improved to make coding easier. But with the ease of coding, the types of applications we could build became more complex. This led to an increase in the number of developers and the skills required. With each new abstraction from the CPU is the promise that you will no longer need developers to produce an application, that anyone will be able to build applications without special training or skills. 
Here we are today being pitched similar promises. ChatGPT is going to be the end of developers. The software will be used to generate applications and developers are no longer needed. In reality, AI is just another abstraction on top of the already existing tooling and will only generate the need for more developers. But the skills have never really changed. The developer understands how these systems work and thus can build applications on top of them whatever that language or tool is. At the end of the day, it's important to ask ourselves if we want to write verbose English prompts or use a specific purpose-built coding language. Both still require user input, and the current text-based interface of ChatGDP isn't ideal. Is it possible for a non-developer to specify a full system through the English language? I don't think so. I think in either case, the skill set is the same and a developer is required. It's important to remember that a developer's job is more than just coding. It's also about interpreting business requirements, find fixing problems and solving bugs, publishing, and more. One of the dangers of AI is that scammers can take advantage of it. They're here to build hype and sell you a promise of something that hasn't yet been realized. So you quit trying to learn to become a developer based on the idea that AI has more capability than it actually does. A CTO may believe this hype, replace their developers with AI, only to lose their company because it can't deliver. Even the CEO of OpenAI recently said, the GTP4 rumor mill is a ridiculous thing. I don't know where it comes from. People are begging to be disappointed, and they will be. The hype is just like we don't have an actual artificial general intelligence, and that's sort of what's expected from us. It's important not to put all of our eggs in one promise and make choices based on what's happening today, not based on the promise of magic. Also, what happens when it's not free? Microsoft has to recoup $10 billion in costs. It's not going to be free. Look at GitHub Copilot. It was a much praised tool until Microsoft wanted customers to pay only $10 a month. The adoption rate went way down and there was a harsh backlash. The current rumor is that ChatGPT will be $42 a month, and that's gonna hurt its adoption rate. In conclusion, ChatGPT is a tool that has the potential to change the way we code, but it's not without its limitations. It's good in the micro, but not in the micro. It can solve small problems, but suffers from trying to code larger complex systems. I think ChatGPT ends up looking more like GitHub Copilot than an all-knowing oracle that creates a system from a text prompt. As with any new technology, you should approach it with a healthy dose of skepticism and focus on its current capabilities and not its future potential. Over the next 10 years, it's predicted that we will need over 370,000 new developers in the US, regardless of the tools we use to build systems. As with all past abstractions, the way we build systems may change but the need for developers will remain and increase in the future.